This is mission 4 of the Dare Greatest Challenge campaign. We're flying in the BF-109 E4 variant, formation of 8 planes today. And the mission is to escort a group of bombers as they head over the channel to target airfields in the south of England. We've just taken off from Le Havre Airbase, which is behind us now. And the bomber, a group of bombers, is ahead of us off our 10 o'clock. So there's two formations of bombers. There's a formation at the front there, nine bombers. These are all JU-88s. And there's a second formation just here, again, of nine bombers. So our job is going to be to look after this second formation at the back here. And there is a formation of BF-110s. Uh, just, there we go, up above there. And their job will be to look after the forward group of bombers. So we're just going to weave above the bombers as we cross the channel. We've reached the south coast of England now. The bomber formations are going to head inland. Front formation will head north towards Farnborough and attack the airbase there and the rear formation will head west towards Odiham and attack the airbase there. Once they're done they'll circle back round and we'll pick them up again and escort them back over the channel heading south and we'll then head towards uh, Le Havre airbase to land and we do have word that there's a formation of six Spitfires and a separate formation of 12 Hurricanes, both on an intercept course. So we're going to keep an eye out for those planes as we head inland. Just closed up on the bombers a little bit and we'll go out with the bombers. See the 110 formation above them. They've just broken their formation, so they've spotted something down there. Yeah, I can see planes down there, cloud level. I think that's the hurricane formation. So I'll leave them to attack the hurricanes. Question is, where are the Spitfires? Oh, are they above us? Oh, I can see... Yeah. The Spitfires are above us. Okay, gonna have to climb and engage. A couple of Spitfires in front of me. I've got the bombers right underneath me as well. Let's just follow one of these Spitfires down. the back of a, a 110 there, he's taking shots. Has to overshoot and I stay with him. Back across me there, let's turn back onto him. Yeah, I can get back onto his Six here. I think he's trying to chase that 110 that is leaking fuel by those things. Let's see if I can put him off.
We got some energy here. Spitfire there in a ball of flames. There we go. Took a chunk out of his plane with the cannons. He's heading down towards the water. I think he splashed down. We'll just loop around and check. See much behind the armor plating here. Yep, there we go. Splash one, Spitfire. Awesome. I've downed a Spitfire there. I know one of the other Spitfires has also been shot down, so that leaves four in the air. Spitfire here. Yeah, let's gonna see if I can climb up to his altitude. There's a couple of planes in front of me here. I'm not sure what that is. Probably a Spitfire as well. Plane down there as well. I think the BF 110's at at low altitude and the Spitfires are just circling above. Guy seems like a fairly easy target, so let's stick with him. I'm getting really close, so I should be able to get some shots with the cannon. a few bits off his plane. Let's see if I can finish him off. <laughs> There's all sorts of pieces of his Spitfire flying off there, so yeah, I'm gonna leave him to go down. I think I've done enough there. After shooting down that Spitfire, there are only two other Spitfires left in the air. So I'm having a look around for them. These are 110s, so that's not what I want. There's a bunch of planes off to the left there. If that's where the Spitfires are. Looks like the BF-110 formation got t uh, caught up just off Celsi here, trying to tackle the Spitfires and the Hurricanes, along with my formation of 109s. Uh, meanwhile, the bombers have gone inland to their targets, and I think a lot of the Hurricanes have followed them. So I'm not sure how many bombers have actually made it through the target. Okay, there's a 110 here that's very low to the 
surface of the water looks damaged and it's got a spitfire all over him there. Is that a spitfire? Yeah, he's taken. Oh wow, look at that, he's wrecked him. GG. And here is another. Here's the second spitfire. <laughs> Alright. So I'm gonna try and get on this guy. Make sure I don't overshoot. There we go. A couple of nice hits. Still got any cannon shots left? I've got a few cannon shots left. Looks like he's making a break for the Isle of Wight. I'm gonna chase him. Push my engine a little bit. There's a few more bits flying off his plane. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I've landed a bunch of hits. I can see the holes in his wings and the tip of his wings missing as well. I think I've done enough there. So that is three Spitfire kills. There is one. Spitfire left in the air. Well, I think it is severely damaged. It's, I think it's out to sea somewhere. So I think what I'm going to do is try and catch up with the bomber formation that I'm supposed to be escorting, which has um, has gone way inland now to target, and uh, is probably dropping its bombs right now. And here we can see the bomber formation at Odiham Airfield, releasing the bombs. Hello. And a similar situation at Farnborough Airfield. Bombers are in position. The bombs are away. to find the bomber formation that we were assigned to escort. We're heading back south after hitting Odiham airbase. I think there are three planes in the far distance there from the other bomber formation that went to Farnborough. And the rest of their formation is spread out. Not far from the south coast of England, so I'm gonna circle above the bombers. I'm 
all of the RAF fighter threats have been neutralized, the Spitfires have all been destroyed, and um, the hurricanes, the, there are some hurricanes still in the air, but they are returning to base, so they're just preparing for landing. I'm not going to bother chasing them, I'm just going to stay here, escorting the bombers. We've cleared the south coast of England now into the channel. Everything's looking good. One of the bomber formation is missing, probably shot down. I'm not sure where the rest of that second formation is. There's three planes there. There should be nine. I think the rest of them are just... Um, spread out. They must have been dispersed under attack from the Hurricanes. We'll see how many of those have made it back once we end the mission. But for now, we just uh, need to set course for Le Havre and return to base. Made it back to La Havre, where the airbase is just here off our 10 o'clock. Only four planes in our squadron have made it back though. We've lost the other four planes in battle with the Spits and the Hurries. That's a shame. Otherwise, a really nice mission. And all we need to do now is land the plane. Turning the plane in now for the final approach to landing. Coming in at a bit of a steep angle, but we should be able to correct for this. It'll be fine. Dropped a lot of speed. we go. Nice touchdown. Let's bring the plane to a stop. That's mission four of their greatest challenge completed. Confirmation here of the three Spitfires that I destroyed, but also a long list of friendly losses, including four of the 109s from my squadron, a couple of the bombers, and seven of the heavy fighters from the other escort formation. Although looking at the time there, 7.09 onwards, that's when they would have been back in France trying to land. So I have a feeling the AI has crash landed at least five of those heavy fighters. So the good news is that we protected most of the bombers and they got through to target and hit the airfields. So job done and thanks for watching. See you next time.